Hello friends, so today we're going to discuss the problem A from Educational Code Courses Round 92, problem name LCM problem. So as you know what is an LCM of two numbers, it is the minimum positive integer that is divisible by both x and y, as you can see in this example. You are given two integers L and R, you can assume it to be some range values, left and right values, and you have to find out two integers x and y such that as you can see x and y should lie between l and r and y should be greater than x so it means that y x and y are not equal y should be greater than x and also if you find the lcm of these two numbers then that lcm should also lie between l and r it can be equal it can be equal uh, lies between l and r are inclusive but it should also lie between l and r okay so now if it is impossible then you have to print minus 1 else you have to print the values of x and y if multiple answer exists you can print any of them okay now if you just take to the drawing board you can make it more clear so because they should not be equal if i take let's assume 2 and 3 then you can always observe that if you take two conjugative numbers or like two very close numbers then the lcm will be like 6 it shoots up but I want that the LCM should be close to the numbers because if this is the range, let's assume that this is the range like 1, 2, 3, this is the range 1, 2, 3 and 4 if I take like 2 and 3 then the next number shoots up but I want that the number should lie between this range ok, now let's assume that if I take 2 and 4 if I take 2 and 4 the LCM is 4 wow so this is a trick as you can see the LCM just becomes comes in this range why because if the next number is a multiple of the previous number if the if like the first number is a and the second number is b and b is somewhat a multiple of a then the lcm will be just b only so now if i take the smallest number in this range and just find the next multiple it will be the smallest number why let's assume that i have 3 now if i find out the next multiple of 3 it's 6 so it is greater if i take 2 the next multiple of 2 is 4 for 1 the next multiple of 1 is 2 i'm just multiplying with 2 just the next multiple is 2 multiplying it with 2 so as you can see the smallest the number i take and multiplying it with 2 the more is the chance that it will come in this range because uh, because the next number will be smallest now because 2 into 2 is 4 1 into 2 is 2 if I take the smallest number then the next number will be more small so the thing is if I take just the starting value of this range L just find the next value next smallest multiple of L which is like 2L and if 2L lies in this range then the answer is L and 2L else the answer is no because this is the smallest number and the next number should lie between this L and R and the next number can be 2L and if 2L is less than R then the answer is ok else the answer is no so that's the whole logic I'll take it on to the code part now the code is also very simple you can take the input of A and B I've written down it, it is L and R I have written down A and B take the input of A and B so if 2 into A it's, I've written down and type cast it into long long it is just 2 into A if 2 into A is less than equal to B which means that if I just find out the next multiple of a, a being the starting value, then if this value is less than or equal to b, then it means that both the numbers are okay, it's a and 2 into a. Else, if this value becomes greater than b, okay, then the answer is both are negative minus or minus. I hope you understand the logic as well as the code. If you still have any doubts, please mention down. Thank you for watching this video. I'll see you in the next one. Keep coding. Bye.